Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I got a real interesting review for you today. It's the uh, WL Toys V303 Gallop, also known as the Assassin, also known as the V383 um, 500. I guess that's 500 millimeters between the, each of these propellers. This is a unique design. I've never seen a quadcopter really designed this way, and I want to show you uh, the internals of this mainly to show you this design in detail, how this flies. Uh, to pop open the top of this, there are three grommets located on the canopy of this uh, quadcopter. You just push up on them to pop them. Pop it. And push on that grommet. And then there's also two Velcro strips on, on each side that you gotta pop to open it up. Now this is the internals of this uh, quadcopter. We have a, I forgot what the voltage is, but it's a 4S battery. Uh, I forgot what the milliamp per hour, I believe it's 2200 milliamp per hour at uh, 4S, which is over 14 volts. I forgot the exact voltage for a 4S. <laughs> but what we got here is very interesting. Notice there is only one motor on this quadcopter, and that motor is attached to a belt drive, which is attached to a drive shaft that goes forward and aft, which is attached to two other belts. There's a belt for each one of these uh, propellers on this, and these propellers include a swash plate and a servo attached to the swash plate to, uh, so that you can vary the pitch on these uh, blades, okay? This is not controlled by varying voltage to the uh, motor. It's controlled by varying the pitch on the blades. In effect, this can also go negative pitch so that we get uh, downward thrust and upward thrust. And that's the reason this quadcopter is extremely ac acrobatic. It can fly, if you've seen some of the uh, videos of this thing, it'll fly upside down and back and forth, back and forth. That's how it's done, by or changing the pitch uh, on these propellers instantaneously without requiring the motor uh, and if you can't do that with an electric motor, um, there is some that you can flip upside down and momentarily and then change the direction of an electric motor, uh, but doing such uh, causes extreme stress on an electric motor. So um, this is a much better way if you want to have negative thrust on a propeller is to use these swash plates and pitch control links to change the pitch on the blades themselves. Let's see, anything else inside the internals on this? Let's go with what we got here. We have the battery, which is also running to the control board. There's the circuit board, a little tiny little thing, not much there, um, which is attached to the uh, power uh, that goes to the motor. And then there's also leads coming from the circuit board going to the, each one of these servos uh, on the arms. Uh, let's put it back together and go over more details of this. Okay, this is the controller for the uh, V3A3. It's a mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4. You can select uh, the controller, um, whichever mode you wish for this particular controller. Uh, but it has some uh, unusual switches on it that are different than most. Now, again, this thing can fly totally 3D manual uh, without gyroscopic inputs. Uh, but the I prefer, this is going to be my first flight with this, I'm going to have to fly uh, with the, the uh, gyro input on auto stabilization. But you can change that by pressing this button here and that will enter it into full 3D mode. Okay, today's flight is going to be a familiarization flight. It's the maiden flight of this quadcopter, so don't expect me to go into 3D mode with this thing. Not today. Uh -uh. It's going to be a while before I try that. But uh, to start this thing up, Obviously, you have to remove the canopy as shown before, uh, and then you turn on the transmitter. Transmitter's on, and then you plug in the battery. And that should be binding to the quadcopter. Then you place your quadcopter's canopy back on, pressing those grommets back into place. And it's somewhat difficult to find these grommets, but you, after a while, I guess they wear out. Or wear into place. OK, 
Okay, grommets are attached. Also, I got my 808 keychain camera here so we can go along for the ride. Starting that. Okay, again, when you start this uh, transmitter, make sure all these switches are down and your throttle is down too. Okay, we should be in ready to go. Okay, so more or less it starts like a normal quadcopter when we're not in 3D mode. We're not idling that motor by pulling that up. So we can actually fly this as a normal quadcopter, which is not running at normal speed. I guess, let's see if we go, what happens when you press this button. It's much more faster, it seems to be. How about this button? Nothing. Okay. So we're, again, both switches are done. And I'm going to start off in low rate. Oh, one other thing. You can adjust the gyros by pull, pulling down both switches and moving them outboard like this. And that calibrates the gyros for uh, level position where it's at. We should be ready to go. Let's go for a flight. Increasing throttle. And yeah, it flies like a normal quadcopter. <laughs> Let's take it around the field one time. It's a big sucker, ain't it? Again, today's flight is a fan flight of this thing. I want to see how it feels and how it handles. Holy crap, it's big. <laughs> Getting out of the way of this sucker. Oh, so part of my French on that. And Sebby's saying, that's not French. <laughs> okay, let's see what the uh, yaw rate on this thing is. That's the yaw rate. And I'm in low right now. Now this thing does not react very well. Let's go to a higher rate. Okay, I'm in high rate now. What's the yaw rate in high? That's the yaw rate in high. Hey, let's go try banking turns with this thing now. Here's a left bank. Doesn't fly very, um, what's the term? Um, smooth. Feels like you're driving a truck. And it is a truck. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure it's acrobatic as heck when you go into that 3D mode. Look at that tilt on that thing. Now that's a big, big monster there, so that was pretty darn fast coming down the field there. It just doesn't look fast, but that's fast for a quadcopter. Look at the tilt on this thing. Yeah, feels like you're driving a truck. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm tempted to go into 3D mode, but I'm not going to do it. Let's set it up high. That's high enough. That's about 100 meters or so. It's interesting feeling flying this one. Again, it doesn't feel like you're flying... Uh, most quadcopters don't feel like this thing. This thing feels bulky. So you got to account for that when you're flying it. Let's go around the field a couple times. I don't want to fly it near me because this thing, like I said, is big and heavy. <laughs> well, this is way different than most other quadcopters. I mean, it's feeling itself. I'm getting out of the way. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Try the 3D mode out on a different day, not today. Not today, thank you. Not until I really get a feel for this quadcopter. I'm gonna be flying the Skyrunner after this. Because I want to get a feel for that one too. I got an HD camera I'm going to attach to that one today. Let's bring it in close here for the remainder of the flight. Okay, it keeps some momentum on it when you're going by. This quadcopter maintains a lot of momentum, watch. Letting go of the stick. Maybe I'll, let's try trimming it a bit and see if that helps. And some left trim. A gallop. Again, we're in high rate. Side funnels. That's a monster, ain't it? <laughs> That's one monster of a quadcopter. Not very quiet either. If you could hear the power from those props, I mean that's oh, I can feel the wind from those props. <laughs> okay, let's go to high speed. I haven't gone really high speed yet. Holy moly! It is fast. When you put that pitch forward and give it some throttle, it takes a while to pick up speed though. So I don't expect instantaneous speed, but <laughs> it's fast. I'm getting a feel for it now. This Mack truck with turbo drive. Okay, that's enough for the maiden voyage. I'm going to bring it in. The Assassin, also known as the Gallop. Monstrous, monstrous. Let me go back to beginner rate. Well, there we go. That's the battery. That's the flight time you get with it. So keep in mind that it doesn't have a long flight time. Um, I should have used a timer with this, but now we know what the flight time is by running it until it stopped. So let me turn off this. Okay, throttle is down. There is no lock and unlock on this thing that, that I'm aware of, but um, We'll pop, pop the hood. No unlock or unlock other than uh, putting the throttle all the way down. And we'll unplug the battery. There. That's it. Let's put that back on like that. Well, that was the maiden flight of the V383 Gallop. <laughs> Very interesting quadcopter. Uh, it's a monster. It's a monster of a quadcopter. One of the bigger ones I've ever flown yet. So it was an interesting flight. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Quadcopter 101 with the V383 signing out.